In this video, I'm going to show you a Madden 23 money play that will attack man and zone coverage well out of the trips tied in formation. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you join my Patreon if you want to get my full trips tied in offensive ebook. We just dropped a brand new defense in there as well today. That's where you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, there's a link in the description below. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to be talking today about uh, gun trips tied in. And we're going to be going over my personal favorite money play, at least uh, right now, and it's PA slot corner. What we want to do with this is we're going to run our trips tied in to the short side of the field. Okay, Short side trips, I think, has a tremendous amount uh, of value this year. I think it's really good against man, really good against zone uh, because of some of the things that we can do to the short side that we can't really do to the wide side. So uh, the setup is basically this. We are going to streak our number two receiver Cooper Cup here. We are going to C route Debo Samuel. We're going to motion Steve Smith across the formation. And then what I like to do is take Taysom Hill and put him on a in route, just like this really simple route combination. You only need outside apprentice to create this. And um, this is going to attack man and zone really well. So against cover four, what you're going to notice here is we're going to freeform this out, down, and outside to Debo Samuel. And basically, as long as they don't have a deep out zone knockout, this is going to be a really, really good read. So the other thing that's really good about running this to the short side of the field is Steve Smith um, has short in elite. And so that is going to be a little bit more effective to that side. There you see Debo Samuel is able to make the catch on the side. The other thing that we have with this is, as we get into some of the other coverages, really the only coverage that they can run that has any level of consistency, in my opinion, at actually trying to defend Debo Samuel's route um, is this this right here. But you can come back to the ball, ag it. You can basically cut this uh, cut the C route off and have a lot of success. Now, the other thing that you're going to see is a lot of people still like to run man coverage. If they run main coverage on this play, this um, C route should be a pretty big play over the top, as you can see right there. Once he kind of gets leverage on the defender, he can cut to the outside. The other thing that I like about this is another thing that a lot of people like to do is they're going to put a third on the left side. Maybe they were in man, maybe they're not in man, but they're going to put some kind of third. You'll see here that the third is not going to be that consistent on the left side. This also brings me to my next coverage, which is the cover three coverage. You're going to notice here that when we run this play, this streak is going to clear out the outside third defender. And then you're going to be able to throw this with an outside pass lead, just like that right there. And again, deep out zone KO can make this a little bit tighter of a window. But by and large, um, you're going to be able to pretty consistently catch this ball. Um, let me show you cover three one more time here. The other thing about this is... Um, the more vertical that Cooper Cup gets, obviously the better and more, uh, more, more, more separation you're going to get from from that player. Now, the backside of this play, I think, is actually really one of the better pieces. This Raptus Steve Smith is super consistent against man coverage, and it's the primary reason why we're going to utilize this. So, if they're going to run man coverage on you, you're going to be able to pretty much fairly consistently attack this is a great man beater because your in route's going to win your c route's going to win and then you have debo samuel right there if you notice this in route Taysom hill actually runs this really really good if you have short and lead on your tight end it's going to make it that much more consistent for you again you can do this without abilities and you're still going to have a decent level of success the abilities just make it a little bit more consistent in my opinion you see how this in route is just cooking the man coverage to that side and um, we're able to attack with that route as well. So we're able to beat man coverage with this play. We're able to beat zone coverage. And then the, the other coverage that I want to go over real quick is cover two. I don't get a lot of cover two, but sometimes when you run your trips into the short side of the field, you will see some cover two. This C route is one of the best plays um, in the game against cover two. Basically, once he clears that cloud flat, uh, you are just going to throw this with an outside pass lead. And um, this is just, just really good against cover two because you also have this post on the backside. Um, but again, this right here, that route right there to Debo is super open um, against cover two. So really against zone, against man, you're going to have them and force them to devote a lot of resources uh, to stopping the C route on the left side of the screen. 
and then once they are able to show that they can stop that you have this check down to Taysom Hill and you have this backside post so this backside post um is something I wanted to just spend a few minutes on here against zone really what you're going to do with this is you're trying to throw this with a free form down and inside so down and inside and you're trying to catch that right in that little pocket now if they don't have a knockout ability on that safety that's going to be fairly decent for you against zone coverage whether it's cover three cover four cover two so this is kind of like a mesh post post route and really you're gonna, you really want to throw it there are your bad free form but really you want to throw it kind of right in that little window where this streak is going to pull like the zones on the left and then you're going to have this little tight window to hit this post so you see here right right there and you want to cut that off is where you kind of want to try to target uh to throw this now obviously cover four i think is going to do a little better job than cover three and cover two um but if you can complete this against cover four you can complete against cover two most of the time they're going to use her the post um most of the time they're going to use her the post but you see how i can fit that in right there in that little window that's a super 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 important read um because as they are going to adjust they're going to eventually start to say okay Taysom Hill's really your main check down so they're going to force you to throw this post and when they do you want to be able to really hit them um hit them well so same thing here same basic thing you see we're free forming that down and inside so that the safety um is not able to play it and then the cover two uh defense real quick you're going to notice that cover two, this mid read, um, this mid read can be kind of baity in the middle of the field, but really high ball it and you see you get it into a good spot. So uh, PA slot corner, I think, is one of the most versatile plays in Madden 23 this year. I think there's just so much you can do with it. And um, the other thing that I love about this concept is that it really does a good job of attacking the defense um, in a lot of unique ways. Now, if you want to learn the rest of the Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, head down to the description and join the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.